Listen, I am done with bamboo drama. You know what they say. Any publicity is good publicity, right? Well, Bamboo Lab is right in the middle of some really good publicity then with a recent blog post about a controversial firmware update that will be rolling out very soon starting with their flagship printer, the X1 Carbon, and then moving on to their other machines. Do these changes reflect a healthy growing industry or is Bamboo Lab making a huge mistake. Now let's start with some of the main points provided in Bamboo's blog post. If nothing else, 3D printing enthusiasts love to get excited over controversy and conspiracy theories. And this blog post definitely delivered the necessary fuel this weekend to get this fire raging. The blog post from January 16th was updated on the 17th. Uh, it included some additional details, but it's titled Firmware Update Introducing New Authorization Control System. Let's first take the blog post in good faith, then let's talk about why taking it at face value may be far more dangerous. The blog post states that this change is mitigating any risk of remote hacks or printer exposure issues that have happened in the past and also lower the risk of abnormal traffic or attacks. This makes it quite clear that there have been remote hacking attempts and that, quote, this step is a significant security enhancement to ensure only authorized access and operations are permitted. Again, just for a moment, let's take that firmware update at face value and give Bamboo Lab the benefit of the doubt here. Then we'll go over why we shouldn't. The firmware update is introducing authorization controls that require official authorization for critical printer operations. Furthermore, unauthorized third-party software will be prohibited from executing critical operations. Basically, this means that controlling the motion system, changing temperatures, starting print jobs, accessing the camera, and binding or unbinding a printer to your Bamboo Lab account will now require authentication. It also means that third-party slicing software like Orca Slicer will no longer be able to communicate directly with your Bamboo Lab machines. Now, this isn't a concern at all for the majority of Bamboo Lab printer users because Bamboo Studio is already provided and it's the preferred slicer and it will continue to operate as expected, just more securely. With that, Orca Slicer will now be required to pass print jobs through a new proxy application called Bamboo Connect, which will handle the authorization mechanism, with some saying that this will effectively break the existing workflow for current Orca Slicer users. Now, I am going to assume that the workflow will actually smooth back out and that Orca Slicer will change the print button to simply pass the print job along to Bamboo Connect, where it will be forwarded seamlessly to your printer. And I expect that change to happen rather quickly because Orca Slicer isn't going to want to leave thousands of users stranded. But Bamboo Connect is just one more application on our machines, and some users may simply not want to deal with this. And of course, that's irrelevant if you're using Bamboo Studio like Bamboo Lab wants you to. And I think this is where a lot of the controversy and mistrust comes from. A lot of the 3D printing community just doesn't want companies telling them how and what they can do with the 3D printers that they buy. Many people in our industry see 3D printers as two or even three separate components. They see the printer's hardware, firmware, and slicing software as distinct and interchangeable, rather than how Bamboo Lab sees it as one single end user device. Humor me for a moment. It's similar to a smartphone. Do you see your smartphone as a single device? Or do you see it as hardware that should support any software? Now the fear is real and some of it's valid. If you are untrusting of Bamboo Labs blog post, then a lot of questions and concerns become quite relevant. A bit dramatic here, but like a bad movie, slowly over time, we see the rocky foundations of a wall forming around our beloved garden, the subtle hints of a proprietary ecosystem closing in on us. Our entire lives in tech, we've seen bright and creative companies come along and produce amazing products. Then they tear the rug right out from under us. We're a nervous bunch of people for sure, but far more companies, to be honest with you, do the right thing and build incredible products that we use and rely on every single day. And many of those fears and conspiracy theories never really become a reality. Now, reading comments today, some fear this is the beginning of future lockdowns. Some think we'll end up with subscriptions or a pay to print system. Others believe that we'll end up locked into a single brand of filament. Some believing models will be restricted based on their shape. And yes, some think this is the beginning of social scores and 3D printing where you won't be able to use your 3D printer if you don't behave on social media. Obviously, some of these theories are ridiculous, while some have actually happened with other brands of 3D printers in the past. But here's the honest truth about where this fear is really coming from. 
if Bamboo Lab didn't matter, then nobody would care. In the past couple of years, I've had multiple 3D printers come through the studio that were completely restricted down to the mobile application provided by the company. And for the most part, nobody cared. Why? Because those brands didn't matter. Bamboo Lab matters. And every other brand from Creality to Prusa is chasing the user experience that Bamboo Lab introduced to us. Now, can Bamboo Lab absolutely make a forced error here? Could they choose a path that isolates the consumer, ultimately destroying their brand, their company? Absolutely they can. It's their game to lose. Now, do I personally think that they'll destroy their company? No. I think that they're working on building the best user experience that they can for their current customer base, and you can't make everyone happy. Now, let's jump back to security and authentication for just a moment. Humor me. Are you concerned that bad actors could manipulate the motion system or change temperatures on your 3D printer without authorization? Honest question, comment below. To put it another way, would you be concerned if hackers could remotely turn on or off random appliances in your home, like maybe your toaster or your oven? I think it's safe to say that all of us would say yes to that, that nobody wants hackers remotely accessing appliances that could in turn burn our homes or our offices down. Now, before you dismiss what I just said as maybe simping for Bamboo's security claims, hear me out. It's already happening. 100% of the Clipper machines that I tested here in the studio over the past year had absolutely zero authentication in order to remotely change temperature and control the motion system, save for a quick Google search on what board that was being used in the printer. Yet nobody in this industry seemed to care. Strange, isn't it? In any other industry, this would absolutely never be acceptable. Yet when it comes to people who like to tinker, they don't care about this, but instead direct their anger at the one company that was the first in our industry to build an entire information security department to tackle these types of threats. Now, I'm not siding with Bamboo here. I'm just giving you some food for thought, right? We can all fix this industry. Now, back to Bamboo Lab here. If you're concerned about losing direct access to third-party slicers, or if you see hints that things aren't going right, they're getting worse, then you're in luck because 3D printing isn't going anywhere. And there are lots of fantastic 3D printer options out there right now. Take a look at Prusa as an example, one of the industry's most trusted and reliable brands. Head over to Lulzbot, an incredible company building prosumer and industrial machines right here in the USA. Creality just released their brand new flagship printer. This one right here. There are so many options to choose from. Vote with your wallet. Now, if you love your Bamboo Lab 3D printer, then you can continue to enjoy it and print until you run out of filament. Nothing is changing here. Now, lastly, don't be afraid to speak out. Let your thoughts and opinions be heard. Tag Bamboo Lab on all the platforms. Let them know what you think. They've actually done a great job of listening and engaging with the community that their products serve. It's my hope that this video brought a little bit of level-headedness to the drama here this weekend. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Your printers aren't going anywhere. They're not. I promise you, promise you, money, a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, you're still going to be printing.